So before moving on to these bronsted lowry theory, make sure that you've gone over uh, Arrhenius acids and bases uh, and the pH scale strong and weak acids and bases as well. Okay, uh, and if you want to go to extend yourself beyond this video afterwards, uh, just look at Lewis acids and bases, which are uh, electron pair uh, donors and acceptors. So moving, uh, so just quickly over the Arrhenius acids and bases. So Arrhenius acids give off H pluses, Arrhenius bases give off OH minuses. Now the problem with that, uh, as I mentioned before, is that some bases do not have OH. Uh, and so we've modified the definition to be uh, proton donors. So H plus can, so that's still the kind of the similar to an Arrhenius. Uh, but this time, if it accepts a proton, not just giving off NOH minus hydroxide ion, it is considered a base. So that's the real difference between Arrhenius uh, theory and uh, bronsted lowry theory. And what you need to be able to do is recognize whether it's an Arrhenius. Uh, and you do that by looking at the equation. You can see that this here has now gained a H+. Plus, uh, and this one here has given off uh, a H+. Plus. Uh, to go over to here. So this one's still technically a Arrhenius acid, uh, but this one is not an Arrhenius base. Uh, it's a bronsted Lowry. So the base is linked up to this particular one here. So that's the conjugate acid. Uh, and the acid is linked up to this one here. So they, they go in the pairs there. Okay. Um, so there we have on the next slide, hopefully here, um, it's a little bit clearer. Uh, so you, these are the conjugate pairs. You may be asked to say what the pairs are in the equation. Uh, and so this is the acid. It then gives off the, pro, the H+. Plus. And so that's its conjugate base. Uh, this is the base. It accepts the H+. Plus, and so that's its conjugate acid. Uh, and so we write conjugate acid there and conjugate base. Okay. Now... Um, this one here, uh, just be aware that water is now the acid. Uh, and so that's slightly different to how we looked at things in the past because water is giving off the H plus and turning into an OH minus. So that is the uh, conjugate base here. So that's the acid conjugate base pair and this is the base conjugate acid. Now just to cover some terms that might come into effect in questions or they might ask you directly. Uh, the word amphoteric means it is connected as either an acid or a base. These, these equations are a little bit complicated but if you have a careful look at them you'll see that the HCl uh, has come off uh, and so that's acted as the acid and this one here therefore is acted as the base here uh, in this reaction. So the oxygens have come off, it's become H2O, the Cl's gone over here. So the H has come off and reacted with this, so this must be the base. Uh, and in this particular one here, you can see this is a strong base here, and this therefore this one must be the acid. So uh, aluminium here is an example of an amphoteric substance. Now amphiprotic uh, is slightly um, different. It's a type of amphoteric substance, but this is specifically giving off and accepting protons. Uh, and so water is a good example of something that can act as both an acid and a base. Um, it acts as an acid to form this, the hydronium ion. So H pluses uh, usually link up to water to form the hydronium ion. Sorry for my messy writing there. Uh, and in this particular case, the H plus is joining up to the NH3 over here. And so because the H plus is coming off, it's acting as an acid. So acid and its conjugate base. Uh, and this one here is the base and the conjugate acid.